Okay, we just found hidden cities in the brain using AI. And the process of mapping a mouse brain goes like this. You take a mouse brain, you freeze it, you slice it into thin sections. Then you strain those sections with dyes that make different cell types visible. You put them under a microscope and then a trained neurologist looks at them and draws lines where one region seems to end and another one begins. And by doing so, we've built this massive reference called the Allen Brain Common Coordinate Framework, the CCF, that everyone trusts. But those borders are drawn by hand, mostly based on what looks different to the human eye. But a team at UCSF decided to check our work. They built an AI called Cell Transformer. It's a neural network and gave it something we never had molecular level data from 9 million actual brain cells. And they told the AI model, forget everything humans have said about the brain regions. Don't use the Atlas database. Don't use any textbook labels. Just look at this raw data and figure out where the real boundaries are. And the way Cell Transformer actually works is pretty clever. The AI doesn't try to process the entire brain at once. That would be computationally impossible at this scale. Instead, it focuses on neighborhoods. So it picks a cell, looks at the 50 or so cells surrounding it within about 85 micrometers, and treats that as a local community. Then it plays a prediction game. The network tries to predict what genes the center cell should be expressing, based on what its neighbors are doing. And to get good at this task, the AI has to learn some fundamental things about brain organization. It has to figure out which cells naturally belong together, which neighborhoods have molecular signatures. And it has to learn where sharp transitions happen, pattern changes that signal a boundary between regions. And nobody tells it these cells are neurons or this is a motor cortex. The network just learns from millions of examples. For example, cells in this neighborhood tend to express these specific genes, but cells in this type of neighborhood express different ones, and there's usually a clear boundary between them. And by doing so, the AI first rediscovered essentially everything we already knew. It identified the cortical layers, it found the hippocampus, the thalamus, all the major landmarks appeared in its maps without anyone teaching it they existed. But the AI's boundaries were different, they were sharper, they were more precisely defined than the CCF atlas that everyone trusted. Even after mapping all the known regions, the AI just kept going. It found hundreds of distinct areas that don't exist in our current atlas. In the midbrain, for example, the CCF database treats it as basically one structure with minimal internal organization. But Cell Transformer found four distinct subregions each with different cell type populations organized in gradients. And they tested this across four different mice, and the AI drew the same regions in every single one. Okay, so why does this matter? Cell transformer could work on any tissue with molecular level data. Cancer tissues, liver, the heart, anywhere we need to understand cellular organization at scale. So this isn't just a better brain map, it's a new way to see how any organ actually organizes itself at the molecular level. Which means better understanding of diseases and faster potential discovery of treatments. And we've studied the mouse brain for over a century, we thought we had it figured out, and an AI just found hundreds of regions we completely missed. Follow and I'll keep you posted.